There are fewer than 40 women's only colleges left in the United States. One of the most famous is Wellesley College. But the students there have now voted to admit transgender men. WBC's Christina Rex explains. I just think that everyone should feel welcome at Wellesley College. In a campus wide vote Tuesday, Wellesley students overwhelmingly voted to admit non binary students and transgender men to the women's college. According to exit polls, more than 90% of students support the change. Even though someone is a trans man, they still have lived as a woman before and they understand it, even though they are not a woman. And if they feel comfortable in this community, then I think they should be allowed here. Students say the proposed change would acknowledge non-binary students and transgender men who are already students here, having come out or transitioned while in college. It's frustrating. I know that a lot of the students here feel uncomfortable and, you know, we want them to feel welcome at their school. This is their home. We live here. We learn here. We eat here. For future admissions, the only gender identity not welcome to apply under this proposal would be cis men, or people who identify as male and were assigned male at birth. Students say the reason is to focus on education for marginalized genders, taking Wellesley from a women's college to a historically women's college. I think as long as we just continue without admitting like cis men, that's like our main goal just to give other people a chance in life. But that vote was non-binding just to show student support. And the college president doesn't plan to change anything right now. Telling WBZ the school provides an excellent liberal arts education to women who will make a difference in the world. Admitting applicants who consistently identify and live as women, including cis, trans, and non-binary students. Before we even got to vote, it, uh, I was essentially saying that our vote wouldn't matter in terms of how they would proceed um, and felt like they were silencing students' voices, um, which I feel like was unfair. Students also want the school to change the language it currently uses, like addressing them as ladies or alumna. Students tell me there are sit-ins scheduled this week to protest the college's response. In Wellesley, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.